upon opening Neo4j for the first time, you will be greeted with this screen, where you can enter your detail to generate a product key, name, email, and organization, if you accidentally closed the desktop activation key before. However, since we haven't, and we can still copy our old activation key here, simply copy it to clipboard, and then paste it over here in the software key. Once upon activation, Neo4j desktop will finish its uh, launch for the first time, and now you have successfully installed Neo4j desktop. Neo4j provides a movie database for us in the, in the example project, but that will not be the focus for today's video. To continue, we would like to create a new project for us. Simply go new and create project. Project will be created immediately, where you can also choose to change your name, should you choose to do it over here. And as the data project asks, add a database. This is a short for database management system. Simply click add local database, and then you can name it for anything you want. For the, for the purpose of today's video, we'll name it a P S S I program. A password, in this case, it must be eight characters long. It can be any number or character. And for, for today's video, we'll be using version 5.4.0. 5.5.0 is the latest one, but for today's video, we will stick into 5.4. Then simply click Create and wait for the database to complete. Upon finish creating the database, you will see that the database will no longer have a loading symbol on the left-hand side, where it is now the load the database symbol. Uh, upon finish, you can see that now you have options of to start the database, open a Neo4j browser where you can interact with the database inside, or more. Upon clicking on the database itself, you can also access the detail, the plugins, or upgrade the current version to another version. Uh, for today's video, we'll also be installing APOC plugins. Simply click Install, and it is now complete. Upon finishing create the database, you'll see that the database now have a green tag next to it, active, to say in this case. Stop, if you want to stop the database from being active, and open. Well, you can open Neo4j browser, a tool to interact with the database inside of Neo4j desktop. Upon creation, you'll see here we have the, the screen of all the results of queries that we can run, a place where we can type the queries above here, and the database information by clicking on this left icon symbol. Here you can see that our database currently have no nodes, labels inside, no relationship in this database, and no properties in this database. This is because our database is currently still empty, and there's nothing inside. 